to take place at Waldo Stadium in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Scanlon has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. the 42 yard line you know what after a play like that I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again from their own 42 yard line second down carries the ball for a nice game and he carried that one for a few yards you know when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game tackle made the 49 yard line from their own 49 yard line second down Slings it. He's tackled right around the 30. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's taken down behind the line. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second down and 11. Ball on the 31. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 26. That'll bring up third and six. a bad play overall by the offense the quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute the problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him they're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted defense stiffens on fourth down and the ball will change hands The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Got it and brought down immediately. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Play fake. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Number 46 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Four down, four down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. They'll bring him down at the 43. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. 
First and ten. Ball on the 43. tries to buy some time and they got it this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers from their own 38 yard line it's second down and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line In the shotgun and five wideouts. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 38 yard line, first down. Four yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there. Chance comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 19 yard line. Second down. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it 37. Tenth play of the drive. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Watch two, watch two. two. Ten the mic, ten the mic. Two and eight. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Western Michigan is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Scanlon ready to kick. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check Crystal out the foul. penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They get nice yardage on that run. Hill gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, three nothing, Bronco. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That makes it first it's first and ten. and ten. Ball on the 33. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First and
takes it out to about the 43. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Runs outside for a nice game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Fourth down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Western Michigan holds a field goal lead. Here they come. Wants to throw outside. Intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. The ball hung up in the air just long enough for the defender to get to it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Defense stacked in tight here. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Eagles. Converts the extra point. Eastern Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. Chance from the one. They'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Drop down around the 41-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Good tackle there in space. five-yard line. It's second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That's a deep That'll bring up third and inches. Four down, four down. Fires out to his receiver. Excellent open field tackle. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. Offense. 
It'll be third down again third after that down. penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They come out on an empty backfield. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They'll line it up again on third down. hit out of bounds at the 23. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. It's up, and it's good. Scanlon is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Eastern Michigan with a one-point lead. He's under pressure. He's scrambling. And down he goes. Right around the 22-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. safety did a really good job that time of disguising the blitz before he came. I don't think the quarterback or even the offensive line had any idea that eventually he was sneaking up and eventually coming on the blitz. They'll work the left side. He's to the 40, the 50. And they finally tackle him at the 39-yard line. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Can they get it? And he lays out and got it for the score. They can't hold it, coach. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. I think this is why the quarterback typically goes to this wide receiver, because his willingness to just sell out and make a catch. Here, it's a nice throw, but really, it was more about the effort by the wide receiver to lay out and make that play for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Eagles in front by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step rep, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. 
Chance takes it at the four. Across the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Play action. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they finally knock him out at the 11-yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. They'll give it off here. Tackle made right around the eight yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Fields gets a carry right side. He's tackled around the nine yard line. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Pass is tipped away. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all this one great kick he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 26 yard line the offense will take the field and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives Down immediately after the catch. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Throws it falling back and almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second and 10. Positive yardage. Gain of six on the play. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Jones 
was the intended receiver on that pass. And that will make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Chance is the deep man awaiting the return. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Hands it to the back. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 33-yard line. Quick pass, intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 31. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Close to being intercepted. Jones is intended to see the ball. That makes it second and ten. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Makes the grab past the marker. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Number seven with the tackle at the 19-yard line. First down. Play. He makes it to the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. It's to about the 17-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. but he can't shake the defense. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. What a play, and that is first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Eagles had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Tackle at the one. Two-yard carry by the fullback. And that was the junior corner who'll get credit with that tackle. Both offense is still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Eastern Michigan, lead is five. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He's taken down around the one-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the one-yard line. 
Sweep left. Touchdown, Eagles. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. The Eagles have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 29. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Scrambling around. The ball pops free. The defense scoops it. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Quick throw. And he is drilled at the 19. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's into the open field. Makes it to the eight. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That makes it first and goal. and he's got his man. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he converts the extra point. Eastern Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. From the five yard line. He's taken down at the 28 yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Less than three minutes in the game. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's taken down right around the 40. He's on the run. 
Runs with it, and he's got room. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. play and now it's first and goal that's a good look and throw and catch obviously the defense is going to have to give them some room but they're not going to give up the big play first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. Just over a minute left. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator is going to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down, and it allows them to continue to work this clock. They'll keep it on the ground again. Heading for the corner. Makes it out to about the 13. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 16-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. That makes it third and eleven. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 28-16, Eastern Michigan. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, I think these guys came out here today and showed that they are for real. Western Michigan really has to be discouraged about losing a game they probably should have won. You can bet their coach will have a nice long talk with his players after this performance.
that brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.